Hey everybody, we got the uh, Volvo up for sale now and I've actually got somebody already on the way to come look at this thing. I ain't even had it for sale for like an hour. But we come up here, we've got all of our buyer's guide and everything in it. That's the law, we have to have those in there or you'll get fined. And there she is, she's up for sale. I'm gonna, uh, if this guy doesn't buy it, I'll go through and I'll write the numbers on the windshield and all that kind of stuff. But for now, we're gonna leave it off until he gets here and see if he wants it. All right, so I'm down here at the sales shack as someone, one of the viewers called it. I like it, I'm going with it, the sales shack. Down here, gonna do a little paperwork. This is what we do prior to selling a vehicle. It's law, they require you to uh, make a copy of the title the way you receive it. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. Make ourselves a little copy here. Okay, while that goes on, this is the purchase agreement, okay? And I don't know if you can see this. It's actually several different forms all in one. Really cool because when I first started doing this, I had a separate form for each one of these things. So it was like six or eight forms these people would have to sign and it was kind of a pain in the butt. So this really simplified it. I really like this form. Uh, it's compliant with all of Oklahoma's uh, laws and, and all of that. So that keeps me out of trouble, keeps everything nice and organized, covers my end, covers the customer's end as well. What they'll do is they'll put their personal information here. Uh, right here's the o the odometer disclosure state statement. It's where you put the miles on here and then they sign and blah, blah, blah. Uh, down here is as is, nothing owed. As is, you're accepting it with all faults. Down here is a form for, uh, shows that you, they, they looked at the vehicle, everything was explained to them. They got a test drive, all of that good stuff. They sign each one of these and then there's a whole area here for their trade-in if they're trading something in so that's cool it's got all that as well also there's a few other things that i get them to sign as well uh, this here this here is a uh title receipt they this all signed dated with the title number whether it's an original title rebuilt title whatever they sign it okay I put this in the folder and it shows proof that they did receive a title at the time of the sale. So that kind of, again, covers my end and covers their end. So that's what you want to do in this business. It's all about covering your ass. Nothing wrong with that. I mean, you should do that with any business, right? Uh, then of course they'll get their, their temp tag, just like you would with any other dealership. And uh, that pretty much takes care of it. I mean, there's not a whole lot to it. Oklahoma's pretty easy. I know some states, uh, it's a little more difficult. There might be a few, few extra steps, but that's how we do it in my state. And uh, also, we will get a copy of their driver's license when they get here. That's also, that's important to put that in the file or some, some form of ID or whatever. And uh, there you have it. So hopefully, he will show up and buy this thing. I guess we'll see. Time will tell. There he is. Hopefully he'll buy this thing. Let's All right, see. we did sell the Volvo. Awesome, sold it to the first guy. There she goes. Hey, look what showed up today.
gonna come up in here, these rivets. We're gonna cut an X into all of these with my, my little angle grinder here. It's a four and a half inch cutting wheel. We're just gonna go in here, cut an X on all of these, and then we'll come in with our air chisel and we'll be able to chisel them right off. There's the new part. We'll put it in right there. Comes with bolts. Those of you that it's never done this before, this will just slip right in. And now we'll put bolts in it to hold it in this time, which is what the factory should have done. Don't know why they riveted these in, but man, they sure made it a pain. Unfortunately, the new bolts for the upper ball joints don't fit, so we have to drill the holes out. 
couple sizes bigger. No big deal. So we got upper and lower ball joints done, inner and outer tie rod ends done. Um, we are gonna go through and put new brake lines on now. We got a little brake line kit. It's got some steel braided hoses in it. I think these are gonna be pretty nice. This will be a good replacement for these old junky rubber ones. So that's where we're at. We're gonna get started on that. And then we're gonna put new shocks and we'll be done. These uh, kits are pretty nice. They come with everything you need. They come with all the washers, the clips. Pretty nice. I think this will be a really good upgrade on here. All right, so we're about done with the front end. Like I said earlier, we got the ball, upper and lower ball joints, inner and outer tie rod ends, eye alarms replaced, and now we got these uh, replacement brake lines in. Check these out. They're still braided really nice they went in no problem at all uh unfortunately the front shocks are wrong uh they gave us the wrong ones so we're gonna have to go back and exchange them but i'm calling the front end done uh we will come back in later get the right shocks put them in but this is as far as we could go with the front end for now so we're going to go ahead and button it back up get started on the rear i've got a couple of brake lines i want to replace back there as well and then uh we'll be bleeding the brakes after that all right so here's my old brake lines here got pulled out Here's the new ones going in. Got my steel braided line. Hooks in right there, it comes up through here. Then this line goes in right there. Comes around, kind of goes under the caliper and hooks in right here. See the other side I've already gotten done. Really nice setup, I really like this. All right, so we're moving on to the uh, bleeding process. What I've got here is a power bleeder that you hook to your air compressor. It works pretty well. Um, very straightforward. Basically, you're gonna take this end of it, hook it right there to the bleeder valve, okay? Once that's on there, you're gonna plug it into your air hose and pull the trigger. And this has a uh, light suction on it that will actually pull the fluid through and uh, all the air bubbles as well. And of course, it all goes into this little reservoir here so there's no mess. Pretty cool. Makes it a lot easier. I'll get started on that now. Check 
fluid level on my uh, master cylinder here, you want to check it periodically and make sure that it stays full. You don't want it to go empty while you're bleeding, that's for sure. You'll just suck the whole system full of air and you'll just keep going round and round with it. So we're just topping it off right quick. I'm not sure if I mentioned this before, but you definitely want to start the furthest away from your master cylinder anytime you're bleeding breaks. I'm sure most of you know that already. All right, we got the rear done. We're moving right along. We're gonna start on the uh, front now, just working our way closer to the uh, master cylinder. And we're just about done. All right, so we made it around to the very last caliper. I'm gonna top off my reservoir again with some uh, more brake fluid. All right, this should be the uh, end of it here. We'll check for a pedal right after we get done with this and uh, should be good to go. Guys, we got her posted up out front for sale. First $49.95 gets it. All right, now obviously we're just playing, but the Corvette is done. Checked out okay. Does need alignment, that's for sure. That's to be expected. We got it as close as we could. Basically, you, when you're screwing your uh, tie rod ends on, you're going to want to. Uh, kind of match it up to the old ones as much as, as close as possible that'll get you in the ballpark and that's the best you can do the alignment shop's got all the special equipment they will uh dial it in and it'll be great brakes are awesome and uh as soon as we get those shocks swapped out get the right ones we'll put those in too so hey we just thought we'd make a quick little video just keeping up with the progress on the uh corvette uh, i know a lot of you guys out there are interested you're trying to uh see how this car is going to turn out i think it's turning out great a lot of work's going into it. She's progressing along very nicely. It's going to be a really nice car. It already is a nice car. Uh, for those of you who don't know, that Corvette belongs to uh, Randy over at Auto, Auto Auction Rebuilds. Uh, go check him out if you don't know who he is. Uh, for those of you that are here from his channel to keep, you know, keep up with the progress of the Corvette, I appreciate you coming by. Uh, please check out some of my other videos and don't forget to like, like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. You guys could check me out on Instagram, Weird Beard Auto Sales. We'll put a link in the description. I'm gonna get out of here for now. You guys stay tuned. Uh, we're gonna get back on that 350Z, and of course, we're gonna get the uh, Harley truck in here as well. So stay tuned for that. I'm out.